Hey guys, uh, Caper Craig back here again. Uh, I'm deep in the woods now. Uh, if I pan around this way, you can just kind of see the pond through the trees over there. And yeah, there's the pond and that's, I was out on the road there. Now I'm up behind the pond and trying to get to the river. Uh, this is the first time I've been up here since last fall. It is way more grown in than I ever thought it was. In fact, um, I'm trying to get through this brush. I have a, I have a machete here and uh, I'm trying to get through this brush. Now, I wasn't able to get down to the river or my camp spot just because it is so grown in. So I was planning on hiking up, up there, up this trail. There's normally a trail up here. Uh, it's very easy to get to in the fall or the winter. Uh, it goes straight up the mountain and there's a big uh, uh, field up there, big clearing right on top of the mountain. And you get some beautiful shots up there, some beautiful views of the lake. However, in this area, in the Bulladry Mountains, um, there's a lot of wildlife. Uh, we have um, we have koi wolves here. Uh, I don't know if uh, many people are familiar with koi wolves. They're a, a, a breed of of uh, wolf and coyote that are uh, basically here in Cape Breton. Uh, we also have some. Uh, we have bears here. Uh, we have a lot of wildlife, and I'm pretty I, like I'm deep dense thick in the brush here and as I'm trying to make my way up this trail I look over into the bushes here and you can see this little area in the bushes and um, it's all squished down and pushed back and there was a very large animal sleeping here in fact, I can see, I don't know if you can see from the video camera, but I can see pieces of fur, hair, on some limbs, as well as, man, there's a lot of bugs out here too, as well as some remnants, some bones of an animal. So, I am just going to film this, and uh, I'm afraid I'm going to have to finish this hike in the fall, because... Uh, to tell you the truth, uh, I'm getting the hell out of here because um, I believe there's uh, there's animals in the area, uh, probably coyotes. And uh, so I'm going to hike back. Um, I'll keep the film rolling. Uh, I normally come out here, if I'm coming out here overnight or for a camping trip, a hike up in the mountains, um, I'll bring a sword along with my machete. But even with those items, oh, and here's another area, look at this. See, uh, what they'll do is uh, the larger animals, that they'll smash all these leaves and all this stuff down, make bedding, and you can see that's another sleep area. So. Uh, we're just going to continue down the way I came in and we'll come back out on my property. But it is just absolutely gorgeous in here. When you're this thick and this deep into the woods, there is no wind, very little anything. Now, Right along here, there's a path. Normally, it's pretty easy to get down to the pond, to where the stream, the river starts up the, up the mountains here, and there's a big beaver dam down there, and sometimes I see them, and it'd be great, but it is just so thick here. I don't know if I can get down there. I might give it a try, however. Um, yeah, <laughs> but it's, uh, it, it's pretty... It's beautiful. It's just absolutely gorgeous. You know, even with the danger of the animals in here, uh, 
it's just absolutely wonderful. I love it. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it down there. We'll give it a, <laughs> we'll give it a shot. If not, we'll just head on back. Anyway, I will... Uh, I think I'll close this video out here and if I can get down by the pond there I will show you. Bye for now.